Hello. I'm Lance from DecoDiscs.com. Uh, we're going to show you how to uh, remove and install the wheels on your bicycle, and that way it'll make it real simple for you to install your new Deco Discs. Uh, these are the three style bikes with the uh, different chain drives and the different brake setups. So uh, let's get started. This bike is the uh, basically a three speed, but it's, it will be the same as a single speed. So we'll start with this one. Now you'll notice I've got the bike tips upside down. And you could put a, handle, a, a towel under the handlebars if you worry about scratching the grips or something. But anyway, I've got this ready to go. And then you'll notice my dog Sam in the background. He's going to help out too. Let's start with the front wheel on this bike. Uh, most of these bikes use a 15 millimeter wrench. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to loosen these nuts up, both, both sides. And then uh, pay attention to your washers on there. Make sure you know where the, which side the washer goes in case you decide to take the nut off. Then just go ahead and lift the wheel off. Then to reinstall it, just make sure that you uh, put the washers on the outside to where they went before and then just go ahead and tighten these back up. Simple. This is a three speed model. Uh, so what I'm going to do, first we have to remove the little speed changer here. So what you do is you, I just take a 10 millimeter wrench on this little set screw back here. Now I don't know what size that may be on your bike. It may be a, 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 a nut, it may be a Phillips screw, but it should be on the back. So go ahead and loosen that just a little bit. You don't need to take it out, just loosen it. And this should just pop off. And then once you expose this little plunger, go ahead and remove that. Make sure you don't lose it. And we'll uh, show you how to take the wheel off. This is the coaster brake arm on the other side of the bike. So we're going to have to remove the screw here. Go ahead and take that out. And then we're going to have to loosen the bolt, the nuts on both sides. And pay attention to the washers because all the bikes have different washers. So you can either take the nut off or just leave them on uh, loose. But you may have to take them completely off to put the wheel back on. Let's go ahead and remove the wheel. Okay, I've taken the nuts off both sides, the nuts and the washers, and I just lay them on the ground on the side that they go on. That way you won't, uh, you know, you'll keep them straight. Okay, now if your bike's a single speed, you won't have this to worry about. So you'll just take the nuts and the washers off, and all you do really is you just lift the uh, wheel out. What I do is I take the chain and I loop it over the frame here. That way it stays in place so when I put the wheel back on. Okay, and then to put the wheel back on, all you do is just reverse the process. Now you have to put the chain on the sprocket before you lower the, the wheel into the frame. So you lower that down in there like that. You'll have to play with your uh, coaster brake side. Lower that down in there, and we'll button it up again. Before we put, uh, put the nuts on and tighten, let's go ahead and put the, uh, the screw in that holds the coaster brake. Just put that in and leave it a little bit loose for now because we're going to uh, tighten that once we get these uh, cinched down. The one thing as you tighten the nuts, you want to make sure that the wheel is centered in the uh, frame right here. So if you put your hand on either side as you tighten the uh, nuts, you can get that uh, wheel centered in the frame. That's really important. Go ahead and tighten the uh, nuts on both sides and put pressure on either side of the tire as you tighten the nuts to make sure that the, the wheel stays centered on the frame right there. And then uh, when you get it all finished up and you snug all these nut, uh, bolt nuts up, make sure you got a little bit of play in the chain. You don't want too much, but if it's too tight, it'll be a little bit hard to pedal. So go ahead and snug these up on both sides and then we'll uh, finish it up here. Next, we've got to make sure we uh, tighten the screw that holds the coaster brake on there. So go ahead and snug that up. You don't need to get too carried away. It's only a, a six millimeter screw, so go ahead and snug that up. And if your bike's a single speed, you're ready to roll. If it's a three speed, we'll show you how to put that plunger back in. Okay, grab your plunger and make sure you wipe it off. Make sure it's nice and clean before you insert it into the axle here. And then go ahead and put it in the axle. It, it really will only go in one way because it has a little flange on this end here. So it'll just slide that in there. 
You'll feel a little spring action in there. That's what it's supposed to be like. And then go ahead and just put your uh, housing over the outside of the plunger. And it should be ready to snug this little set screw up. Make sure this is in line the way it was before. We'll snug this up. Use a wrench. Easy does it. You don't need to get carried away. That's just to, just to hold it in place. And if you're a three speed, uh, this bike's ready to roll. Okay, next let's show you how to do the uh, bikes with the, with the caliper type brakes and the derailleur multi-speed system. It's actually really easier in some ways than the coaster brakes, so let's get started on this one. First we have to disconnect the uh, caliper brakes in order to get the wheels off. So this is a close up of what you do. It's really simple. You just grab a hold of the uh, cable here, push it in like that, and it'll just come out of that housing. And there you go. And then to reverse it, you just put it back in this, the opposite way. You just pop it in like that. And there it is. And then to make it official, you can slide the little rubber booty over there to protect it. I've disconnected my uh, caliper brake down here. And then I pay attention to which gear that you're in uh, on this before you remove this wheel. Uh, if, this, if the chain is on this big sprocket, which mine is, then we want to return it to that same sprocket. That's the, the low gear, so maybe it's best to put your bike in low gear before you start. But anyway, before we remove this, uh, make sure that you know what that is. Make it a little easier to put the wheel back on. And then go ahead and take the uh, nuts off both sides. Pay attention to the washers and where, which side they go on. I'll loosen mine. Take the nuts off. Now, it's really simple to remove this wheel. All you do is just grab a hold of this arm right here and pull it back like this. And then kind of hold the chain up and you just kind of lift it right out of there. And there you have it. We'll go ahead and reinstall it in a minute. Let's see if we can reinstall this wheel. It should be really simple. So grab your wheel, sprockets on this side, Okay, go ahead and get your chain. Now what we're gonna do, think of uh, the sprockets go under and the chain goes on top. So under and on top. So go ahead and pull that back. Loop that around that sprocket down here where my finger is. Go ahead and loop that around there. Start to lower it into the bike. And there you have it. It's around the sprocket here. And this chain's on top, so bottom top. The way I do these, uh, the tighten these nuts is that what I do is I tighten this side first. Just go ahead and snug that one up. You don't need to get ridiculous. Just snug that one up. And then as you tighten the other side, make sure that your gap on both sides of the wheel is the same. So same side. You want this uh, tire centered on the frame. So same gap both sides. You can kind of move that as you tighten the other side. Okay, I've got that centered. Then I'm gonna go ahead and snug both sides. And there you have it. The wheel's centered on the, on the frame. One last reference to the uh, tire. There it is centered on the frame. You can see it, it's about the same distance on both sides. The nuts are snugged up and I'm ready to ride. Oh, and before you ride, make sure you uh, re reconnect your uh, brakes. I'd hate to see you take off and not have any brakes. The last scenario that we want to cover on removing wheels would be the disc brakes. Now, they're really basically simple, too. So basically what you do is you just take your nuts and washers off. There again, make sure you keep them on the separate sides. Watch your washers. Make sure you know which way they go in there. And then what you want to do is just lift the wheel out. This is a fat tire bike, so I gotta be a little bit careful pulling it out of there so don't scuff the rim. We'll go ahead and put it back on. Okay, before you put the wheel back on, make sure that your caliper down in here is open so that the disc will go in the caliper. So I'm gonna go ahead and lower the wheel back in there. I'm gonna fit that, uh, that disc 
the disc brake into the caliper before I kind of lower it into the slots. This one's a little tight, so I'll have to use a screwdriver on this side to let it pop in there. Okay, and there you have it. I'm going to go ahead and put the nuts and the washers on there. Make sure after you tighten this up that the wheel rotates and you don't get any drag on the uh, disc brake there. And then you should be ready to go. Do the same front and back. Okay, there you have it. Uh, make sure you check all your nuts and bolts and uh, make sure everything's tight. Make sure your brakes work, uh, the shifters work. It's a beautiful day. I'm going to go for a ride. Thanks.